Hello gamers, welcome to if you've been right Ace turn. <laughs> That's the game. Be right oh, a turn. We all know his name is Penis Right, get it right. I mean lefta. Fucker. Left. <laughs> <Wrong>. <laughs> October nineteenth, three twenty seven PM right in co law offices. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Huh? But Maya! So, what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow, good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system, tomorrow's the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's a new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So, under that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. A little fucked up. So, is that actually a thing of real life, by the way, or is that just total bullshit? Uh, I would hope not. That's corrupt as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it is. The new... Yeah, uh, the Phoenix, right? The Ace Attorney, moi, yeah, is right. generally like akin to that of Little Max World Boxing Association. Yeah, I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet real life warriors who actually played this game had a lot of things to say about that system. They do. Yeah, there's actually a clip of yeah. a real life lawyer playing the game, getting him to the updated autopsy. Yeah, they, like, they get so- it, it's so funny, they get so pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, you can't do that shit! <clears throat> I don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? What? You mean Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah. But, 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 but Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick! Oh boy, you missed a lot, huh? Why would he go through the trouble yeah. of stealing it? That's what we have to find out. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear that the director, that the producer and the director were both in the trailer. Huh. Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime was Studio 2, where that trailer is. What? Hmm. Was Maya always this excitable? Yeah, she was Mia for quite a while now, wasn't she? Yeah. Well, have you noticed anything that might help us? I can't see what's going on when Mia is here. So no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Left. Maybe we should go talk to WP? WP. Who, who the fuck is... Oh! The client! Yes. Correct. Yes. W WP powers? Will powers powers? <laughs> Will powers powers. <laughs> WP Gaster? WP. WP Gaster. October 19, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Please. Mr. Rod, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears. <laughs> wow, Nick, you must have really wowed him in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP, only one day left. Let's make you count. Yes. <laughs> Though there's not really anything I can do to help. Just sit there and look pretty. <laughs> uh, I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. <laughs> no yeah, fucker why, doing shit here. Why? Why is Will Power still there? By the way, like, by the way, like, is there still like a possible chance that he could be guilty? Yeah, because I, I, <laughs> until the trial is over, he shouldn't leave. Yeah, I think so. It is. I guess yeah, so. Yeah, I, but I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, isn't there like at that point, like during like the second day, isn't there like already concrete proof that it couldn't have been him because he was at Studio One the whole time? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Probably like, like some official law business they just have to abide by. Bye, 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 bye,
Maybe they didn't, they just didn't think about it. This was the first game after all. This is just a yeah. re made version. Right, right. Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Oh, the producer. She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. <laughs> a genius? He's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but the hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? N nothing, forget it. I... I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Well, tell me more right now. <laughs> she blackmailed Global Studios. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manila? Oh, he used to be a man of straight to video director. But something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Sal Manella. Hey, he's pretty much uh, her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call. Oh, I can't imagine him jumping. Damn fat yeah, joke, Phoenix. Damn, she's practically then she's practically stepping on him at that point. Uh. God, he'd be into that shit. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? Then he just dropped off the face of the Earth. Oh. Yes, you're right. In fact, he was my, my role model when I started in the business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions of Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. Just gave up being a five-star hero. What? I completely misread that line. <laughs> five-star hero? What the fuck is this? A gotcha game? Did you, did you roll him in Faye? <laughs> <laughs> I'm merging him. The father was great. He just gave up being a star fought five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, I was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Huh. Five years ago. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, October boy. 19th, Global That's Studios, funny. Main Gate. <laughs> the old Winback sure is quiet today. Mm. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick, is she dead? I think her guard's down. Y yeah I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. Her mouth is a black hole. You eat, you die. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Ew, she's alive. That made her crack. Um, I, I, I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio big wigs love her. So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Can I ask you about Sal Manila, the director? Uh, Sal, he's soft. A pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone oh. like being treated like dirt? Oh, Maya. Oh, Maya. Oh, Maya. Oh, sweet Maya. <laughs> Boy, innocent Maya. That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no. No, no, it doesn't, Maya. 
Definitely not. <laughs> Anyways, about Mr. Hammer. <laughs> I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper! Poor old Hammer! You drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it! Calling him a criminal! A thief! <laughs> I won't forget this! Uh-oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, Whippersnapper. My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Powers' costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low, it's impossible. We, we get it, you want to fuck Hammer? <laughs> I thought she wanted to fuck uh, Edgeworth. She wants to fuck a lot of people. Oh. She gets around. <laughs> October 19th, Global Studios employee area. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming just one time. Trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where he found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Oh, um... <laughs> No, 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 no touching. Eek! Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. D -d Didn't mean. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Guess I can be a little dramatic at times. <laughs> I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic, indeed. Ahem. Anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yep, I'll trace all there for. They're all. All right, tell me about the plate. <clears throat> so you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I got to take the plate back to the product precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to the sleeping pill, see? If there's any traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat. Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now. Everything in due time, pal. Bell. Bell. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh, testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Huh. Says so now he's 100% cleared. I want a tea steak. So how goes your investigation? Tell you the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch places. Suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, Paul, I hate to admit it. I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Yeah, tell me tell me about that guy. How, how are his pecs? I mean, what? <clears throat> How's Edgeworth what? doing anyway? How are his cheekbones? Sir Edgeworth is out of control. Oh. He was in the waiting room and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. It was shows to me. I mean, what? God damn it. <laughs> Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups. Bottles? Word association. <laughs> Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, a little bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you, pal. I found the victim, Jack Hammer's prince on the bottle. Aha! So that means... Yep, it sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. <laughs> so I was right. So this just 100% proves that how like, willpower is fine. Yeah. 
<laughs> the brakes just lying there. Ah, they've seen wisdom at last. They know if they fix it, I'd just kick it off again. That poor assistant. <laughs> you think after a hammer put power to sleep, he threw a biotic grenade at him? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, no, uh, he, he nanoed his teammate and said to be killed out. God damn it. God. <clears throat> Great, they used to cover the drain. It's a little bent. I don't think it would fit if I tried to put it back on. Alright. of the employees' lunch are scattered around. I was probably too shocked to clean up. T-bones but that. Okay. All of those plates and bones have been there been there for anyway. It's been like a couple of few days, right? Nine years. God. They're they're probably just kept there for the scene of the crime, more so than anything. Yeah yeah. Alright. Nothing else here. I guess I'll move into the dressing room. Oh uh she, uh, uh, um, uh, here, P, you yes. want to oh. take this for now? All right, got it. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I, I was just, uh, quick playing up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... Well, what? Why? Is he dead? <laughs> WP is innocent! Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But... This week is the last <laughs> episode of the Steel Samurai. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> the world is ending for Maya. Damn. Probably for no, Penny no. as well. You're just talking about this season, right? Surely, surely there's a season after this, right? Right? This is just the season finale, right? <laughs> Maya, get out of your- Maya, get out of your copium tank. No! I'll die in here if I want! I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Hang on, I'm just getting my eye. Something my eye. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I, I thought he went to Studio 1. Well, you were wrong! <laughs> he stole the Steel Samurai costume, too. Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Hmm. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true. The rumor? <laughs> the rumor? Yeah, Miss Vasquez. That producer had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on them. He'd do anything, she said, apparently. Oh, she was holding a hammer? <laughs> God. Some dirt? What dirt? Uh, dirt. You know, bad stuff. I heard he likes feet. Oh. <laughs> it's one to no one. I, I thought that was normal <laughs> Nick. Nick <laughs> I thought that was normal Nick likes feet. Shut up, Maya. Shut up. <laughs> um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, uh, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? <laughs> She's so bad. The last steel samurai. She's about to cry. I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed a steel samurai's death warrant. No, no. So I hear that the global producer is going to change its programming. <clears throat> They're not going to make kids shows anymore. <laughs> Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Why? <clears throat> I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? Studio Big Boys don't want to steal Samurai around anymore. He got cancelled, you see. They want to <clears throat> forget all that ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? 
how can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the seal samurai? That's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. I won't be! <laughs> They'll find a new hero to follow. No, they can't be true! If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I trying My to prove? Attorney that, bitch. that the kids will miss it? Yeah, honestly, I think I think this one, yeah. Let's crash look. Take that! <laughs> and this is fan collected all of these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. Motherfucker. Imagine if, it, imagine if a TV show was saved by a fucking lawyer's suggestion. <laughs> You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Hmm. No. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Did you tell us what happened five years ago? Oh, well, I can tell you all I've heard. I think Byla fell into a pit, and then, like, the war started, and, like, there's a couple of uh, time oh, skip. Uh, uh, time skip, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you did the funny Tyler 1 scream when you fell. <laughs> Apparently five years ago, someone died. It was Hammer's fault. They had a Dinah. pop on it. Are you back, Dinah? I believe so. Uh, All right, yeah. it I'll see what I can do. Just okay. in case. I can take over my uh, feed and get interrupted. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway. <laughs> Producer Miss Vasquez managed to push it up. And that's the dirt she had on ha Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to. I love Black Hammer. Uh, but it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Why did it turn into an NTR dojo? It worked. Oh, you know, Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. And they were afraid about what happened to his career if word got out. I... I see. Oh, fuck, I'm yawning. Oh, shit. You know who, who knows more about this? Mr. Miss Oldbag. Oh, fuck, you're making me on, too! <laughs> she was here at the studios back then, you know. Like, Thanks. So she's like 80. <laughs> we'll try asking her. If she'll talk. And if she hasn't dropped dead by the time... Oh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Oldbag, huh? Congratulations. I wonder when she made the change. Wait, is her uh, name Ashley Oldbag? Yes. Yes, her name is Ashley yeah, Oldbag. <laughs> Wendy, I think it's Wendy Oldbag, right? Oh, what? You're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you fucking marry it? I mean, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should keep a safe distance? She might have rabies. Oh god. Of course yeah, I have rabies! You think I go on as long as I have without contracting rabies? <laughs> um... I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Yeah? Who told you? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, 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 uh huh? Nichols! N n nichols Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. That assistant her name. Well, 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 what's, what's, her, what's her dad's name, Cor? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, oh, right, left. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled the trigger, now he's dead, didn't he? Mama? Life had just begun. We snappers! Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun. No, no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammerstone Powers is costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammerstone Powers is costume. Yeah, I got proof. I'm sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole costume. J J Jack Hammer Prince. Here's my proof. What? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills with Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. What does that prove? I'm. I'm sure Old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Where's your proof? Uh... Well, it was in his food. <laughs> Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, so... This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. <laughs> hmm. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. Hey. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Ms. Oldbag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. I really need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> My bladder control isn't what it used to be. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Oldbag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. And I'm not talking about the one in my pants. A, <laughs> a, damn it. a fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She is ties to the Mafia. Oh, what? The the Yakuza. <laughs> she silenced yeah. that paparazzi. <laughs> that was the beginning. <laughs> After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. Uh, I see. But you have to understand, poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Hold on a minute. Poor, poor Mizzle bag. Yeah, take this. Uh -huh. A photograph. Look at this graph. Oh. oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This kills the man. <laughs> Wait a second. This is a picture. Is, is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on top of those stairs there, in a fucking tennis uniform for some reason. <coughs> he pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. And this is why we hire stunt doubles now. <coughs> but how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Just killed a man. But Mama. a gun against his head. October 19th, Studio One entrance. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. 
Then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. Left. But... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Studio 2... <laughs> Studio 2 is left from here, so... But why? I wonder if someone called him? Like the director or the producer? Huh. Huh. The huh. day of the murder. The day of the murder. Oh, you God, murdered him. Straight smarts! Just... Straight smarts! <laughs> the security camera doesn't seem to be switched on today. Does that mascot thing even look like a monkey to you guys or now? Kind of. I mean, I guess the tail, I suppose, does it, but you know. I'll pull out. Like a very specific type of monkey with, like, the big nose. October 19th. Studio 2 entrance. Hey, Nick. It's Ms. Vasquez. Hello? Uh, who should take over for I, her? I, I, I took over from Sky. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, like, she's you? Well, she was Sky, but uh, I just okay, took okay. over to take over from... Uh... Okay. H-E-L-L-O! <laughs> H-E-L-L-O! Maya, you should at least try to be fucking polite. Jesus, calm the fuck down. <laughs> I'm watching the clouds. <laughs> That's all she had to say, apparently. Anyways. <laughs> um, excuse me? Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder, and... Bitch. Bitch? Huh? Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. What a fucking bitch! Do <laughs> something, Nick! She's really ticking me off! Oh dear. Hmm, that... Oh, wait, no, wait a minute. Um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You... You did it! Nick, she did it! She's the killer! <laughs> the fey blood speaks to me! I know it! I know it! Oh my god! Oh dear. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer by yourselves. Oh, oh dear. Hmm. I'm watching yet. the clouds. That one, that that one over there looks like you two leaving the fuck out of studio too. Damn. Oh, I see it. Oh, I, I can kind of see it. Yeah. It does look like that, doesn't it? Uh, I think we've already read this. I have an attorney's patch. I should already. I I, I should I should be qualified to drive already. Incineroar. Apparently, they just put this one in. Oh no, it's it in you. Wow, they must not clean it much. Fuck you, parting shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Salmonella and D Vasquez ate. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate the T-Bone steaks, too. Something wrong? I don't know. I'm getting this funny feeling. There it is. That funny feeling. <laughs> uh, something about this just feels odd, you know? No, nothing that nothing weird here, guess if I do. There's that nothing weird with this feeling. place. Oh, wait, if they ate... If they ate the T-bone steaks, by the way, where the fuck did they put the bones? Hmm? They just ate the bones. You don't eat the bones? No. There's a big two painted here. 
So this is the number in Cody's photograph. That's just wasteful. You paid for the whole steak. You should eat the whole steak, including <laughs> the bones. Oh, God. So true to think if he hadn't brought that photograph in. Don't get all teary-eyed yet. I wasn't crying. What the fuck? You know, you, you know, you think if somebody died on that fence, they would get it replaced, but nah. Yeah, like the... There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're <clears> taking <throat> good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. As a matter of fact, yeah, almost, I have evidence that that fence is dangerous. It's almost as if somebody got stabbed. Right here. Speaking of, I wonder if I should... I didn't notice, but that dude was carrying an axe as well, actually. Yeah, I'm sure it's part of the movie. Anyways. Uh, look at this badge. <laughs> He's not even looking. Okay, hey, you look. <laughs> Why are you showing that to me, Nick? Because she's not looking at it. Look, I need someone to acknowledge me. <laughs> that one of the clouds there looks like an attorney's badge. I wonder if well, somebody's showing me that right now. Holy shit, that one looks just like an attorney's badge. That's crazy. Anyways. <laughs> not even looking. Where? What? What? Pardon? Sorry, parents were calling. Okay. Uh, where did you get that? Uh, um, I, uh, well, uh... Old bag. Oh, oh, oh. You'll hang for this. <laughs> oh. She means the security lady, Ms. Old Bag, Nick. Right. Left. Anyway. Uh, Miss Vasquez, you hit this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The uh huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. No, not really. The conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Okay. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Okay. Mm, you came. Uh. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez. You were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kid show for petty change. Hmm. So I'm a blackmailer now. Uh, is Dinah dead? Dinah might be dead again. <clears throat> well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star! Oh. I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But... You were the cause! You pressured him! to think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? <clears throat> what do you mean? Phenomenal. <laughs> Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? That sounds like a murder. Murder. Ugh! No. Murder. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it. On Poipus? <laughs> that is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you, can you prove it? Hmm. Just think. Okay. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? I mean, maybe. I don't know. 
<laughs> and I ran him hard, believe you me. But, but, but the security lady said it was an accident. Oh. Well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. Hmm. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. <clears throat> of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is on the one you... Is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. What? This is valuable evidence! Boys! <laughs> oh... It's the oh, boy. It's, it's the, uh, the goon squad. Um... You've got, got a boss. Uh, uh, hi, hi there! Oh, is that your Cosmo you have with you? Oh, uh, hi, I'm a big fan. Uh, who, who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? No, no not particularly. <laughs> what? Trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Uh, what? No, I, I, I think I could still make any time if I just leave right now. Tell me why! Uh, oh my... <laughs> why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt. No? Look at why this photograph! Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. I'm a chuckster. <laughs> no! Bad oh, Phoenix Wright died. Oh shit. Hold it right there. Oh shit! I heard everything, pal. <laughs> you sure you're coming down to the precinct with me, now. Mm. Hmm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then, in court. I'll be looking forward to it. Holy shit, Gumshoe coming in clutch! Let's go! I'm not dead to the fucking Yakuza! <laughs> Hey, pal. You okay, pal? <clears throat> Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Oh, don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> uh, it's a... <clears throat> Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez, for once. I mean, what? Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. oh, that—that that, 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 that was actually quick. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I feel like she she talks. Yeah. Oh my fucking. I mean, yeah. That that, was... I mean, that just goes without saying. But you said it anyways. <laughs> That was actually, that was actually pretty quick for an investigation day, huh? Yeah. Uh, so did did Gumshoe like Thanos snap the Yakuza guys, or like what was he taking them down to the station too? He's like he's a cop. The kind of scared of him. 
Yeah, I think the idea here is basically it's like, okay, we're not gonna fuck with an actual police officer. No, you know, you see, you know, you see, uh, Detective Gumshoe is actually is actually a prize bodybuilder build, who's taken down fifty guys before, so he can handle the yakuza no problem. I, I can't God. believe he's Eagle from Street Fighter. Yeah. All right, time to get trial and time to try hard. October twentieth, ten a.m. District Court courtroom number four. What is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers? Okay, so do we want to have Pete do Edgeworth, or do you mind? I, I I've been saying like for like two weeks. <laughs> I was saying for like two weeks, so yeah, I'll let you have it because I know you said you wanted it, and then okay. I just forgot. The prosecution is ready, Edgy. Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. Does it have to be? Yes, fuck the, the final day. I hope I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Otherwise, the well, Will is fucking guilty. Oh well, well, I mean. Very, very well, Edgy. Your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call upon people of present studio trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm. Very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. Can I get a cup of Edgeworth? <laughs> if you catch it. my drift! Get those shitty jokes out of my courtroom, Mr. Wright. Meanwhile, ah, you become a first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Will the witness state her name and occupation? I was told I couldn't smoke in here, but I did it anyway. <laughs> D. Vasquez. I am a producer for Global Studios. The day of the murder, you were in the trailer for Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I just like needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Oh, damn. <laughs> very, very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony. Consider the day of the mort murder. Why is the judge letting her do that? Don't worry Nick. about it. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. <laughs> get... oh, sure. Left, I... right. He's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down. So to Excuse speak. Me. Um, I don't think anybody wants don't, that. Don't, don't, don't say it. Don't say it, don't say it. No. <laughs> look it up. I mean, if I can she catch looks like Edgeworth... Moira. If look, I can, look, if I can have... catch, if I can catch have... Edgeworth with... I mean, huh? Look, we have a cycle. Okay, called that Tumblr I can get there. behind. <laughs> I want to get behind Edgeworth. I'll, I'll, I'll get behind. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Who? I, I mean, what? Oh. No one. A little huh? before noon. The meeting began at 12 o'clock sharp. It ended at 4 o'clock. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Oh. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later, and we all went to Studio One. That's all. That's all, folks. <laughs> I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? Yes. Is this the first time that the judge has ever asked a question about a testimony? <laughs> what the fuck? The van. Hmm. There's a van <laughs> studio too. I had him take me in that. 
thought it might be risky to walk with what with that monkey's head toppling over. Oh. I I see. Very well, Mr. Left, your cross right. examination. <laughs> it... This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Left. And in the meet and in the meantime, give me whatever whatever Mr. Vasquez is smoking too. What? No. I want a blunt. No. <laughs> I crave a blunt. Uh, I'm gonna be okay. blunt. I crave a blunt. Uh, hold it. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Hmm. Hmm. Come on. Let, let, let's talk a bit more about that. Did not come to here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. That's my job, Edgeworth! The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh! Huh? <laughs> please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. Listen, we have an audience. Studio <laughs> one, hold it. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. <laughs> the meeting ended at 4 o'clock, and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. <laughs> well, hold it! Hold on! You had Sal take you. What does that mean? That it means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Uh... Alright. Alright. The Studio Alright. Hold it! And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. <laughs> it irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Right. Left. Just did it. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. Uh, hold it. Do you have someone who can verify this? Ow. No, I, I, I mean someone else. <laughs> One person is enough. It's not! She committed murder during that break. She wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proves she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick, find anything? I kinda wish she said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said. Somewhere. Well, let's see what we got. Uh, death at 2.30. Dragging leg at 2. So that fell between... Okay, so it was cleared at 4. I shut up. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, if you the graduated from law school, you could have gotten this in ten seconds. <laughs> what the freaky frick? Uh. 
What proves that she did not eat a T-bone steak during that time? Well, I don't know if this is necessarily the one to present on. You should be, you should be, you should be funny and present your badge. Would it I be? I, I think I know what the twist is, but I don't know if this is too early to present it. Wouldn't yeah. it be the photo? Because. What? Uh, the photo to steal samurai, uh, passing through, because it always takes a picture. And what would that prove? Like, she had to go through Studio One to get to Studio Two, right? What? What? I think I get what Guardian's saying, but I don't. No, I right. look. Studio One and Studio Two are separate. This this gate is where it takes a photograph. And the, and it, it, we've confirmed that the person in the suit was Jack Hammer. Right. So what we know is that Jack Hammer went in this direction, and then based on the photo, he went to Studio Two. Right. But what also, they're saying is that they were busy the entire time and couldn't have done it. Yeah, the meeting the meeting went from twelve to four. Twelve to four. And they were in studio two the entire time. Yes. Right? Hmm. Guess I should just try this. <laughs> Got it. Oh. <clears throat> okay, I am I am right about this. Okay. Ha! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not! <laughs> now, Mr. Right. Left? Look at this. <laughs> it's a plate? It sure is. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, left. I remind you that it was a T-bone. <laughs> 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 I'm used to being off like that. God. <laughs> it was a T-bone steak. Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manila ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Bones are nutritious, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Miss Vasquez, did you eat a bone? <laughs> Tell me, how I, can a person I, I, eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. Huh? You ate the bone too. You ate a you boneless ate a bone steak. steak. Let me get that shit. Boneless. 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 Bone. Boneless steak. Obviously, she ate the bone too. Nah, we all we all we all know why she ate Sal's bone. Bro, you didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incineroar incinerator. <laughs> I mean, she does. She, I mean, she does. I mean, it, it, it's a big cat. It does like steak. Yeah, how's that for a malicious moon salt? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I see. Give me my glasses. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't Murder. it obvious, Murder. Your Honor? Murder. Not salmonella. Murder. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai! A foolish samurai warrior wielding a magic sword. Order! Order! Uh, are you saying? Yes, your honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands! They're left! Right! <laughs> Got you, bitch! 
isn't it a little presumptuous? Huh? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull right? Left. <laughs> Let him claim what you want. You say I did it? Yeah. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> and here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Man, this is court. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Any day, Vasquez. <laughs> Good luck, Nick. I didn't uh, say that shit in the real courtroom. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. Mm -hmm. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can. Oh. You don't know. What kind of liar are you? Quiet. I'm speaking. <laughs> <laughs> are you playing Yu-Gi-Oh! No. You no. don't know? What kind of lawyer? I don't know whether you could have fought with the Samurai Spear. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The Samurai Spear was not the murder weapon! Yeah, not the father. What? The meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body! I have proof, your honor! I can prove that the Samurai Spear was not used as the moida weapon. Yeah, uh, it's either this that's showing what the murder weapon could be, or it's that the spear's broken. I'm thinking... Uh, the photo, right? No, she could've put the body there first. Maybe maybe the spear first, and then the photo later? Uh, yeah! I present my proof, the so-called Moida weapon. Is the murder weapon? Not so fast. Not so fast. Remember, remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run through. But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order, order, order. What? No, no, I'm sorry. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? My oh, voice dude. changed, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? Uh, Pete said he was going to be back. Okay. Uh, no? Oh, huh? I thought you said you were leaving. Uh, no? Oh. Huh? What's okay, happening? I didn't say anything like that. <laughs> All right, What's happening? Mind. Go ahead. I don't know. Just go! <laughs> Mr. Bright, what are you driving at? No, I'm driving at you. I take a bite to work, motherfucker. <laughs> this... Uh, uh, what's the call? Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. Damn, wait, 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 are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? Ah. Uh. If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon- Fuck! Can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer before I fucking kill you with it? Uh, probably. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? 
I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Ryan. That's fair. <laughs> Very well. Let's see this murder weapon then. Uh, sh sure. Yeah, she murdered him Look at this photograph. Who's this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing on top of the stairs. I wish you did. No, no. Hmm. If I cannot have this order, the trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright. Left. All about. <laughs> this photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth. I have no top here for it. <laughs> you still can't see? No. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? That looks like his abs. What? what? Are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> what happened five years ago? Has happened again! Like, oh, Mr. Wright, continue. Oh. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it! She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Well, whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I can't say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Yeah, it's kind of karma, really, if you think about it. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Ha oh, oh. ha. Very creative, Mr. Wright. Oh, thank you. I could use a man like you on my script writing stuff. This is a very efficient way to write kills from Asher right there. You down. deny that what I say is true. Hang on a second. Mike's taking a smoke break. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting his he's getting his pipe. How long is a smoke break? <laughs> How about you go put cigarettes out on your Whoa. You know, you think Let's put know, cigarettes you, out of my dick. You, know, you think there'd be something wrong with her lungs seeing how many times she's fucking smoking here? She's panic smoking. Her body's taking care of it. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I am giving myself lung cancer, so I don't get prison time, you see. <laughs> Damn. This is Selected. a very inefficient suicide. <laughs> yeah, he said he had to go for a second. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Wright. Let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? Uh, I don't know. Breaking the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes, from 2.30 to 2.45, uh, 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how what? could she have dealt with the <laughs> How could she have dealt with the body? I. 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 Mr. Wright. It's like it's like Pat. It's like Patrick in the Krusty Krab training video. Uh, 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 
Is there another way, I guess? Yeah. I uh, bet she... Wait, what now? Steph's uh, saying that you can play. Oh, um... Ooh, God, bad timing, bad timing, actually. Um, hold on. Oh, she... Because, like, maybe she could have moved it with the van, but could she still have done it within 15 minutes? I feel like it'd be incinerator. No, I think I... it was Raging Bull. You think she incinerated the body yeah. and then it suddenly respawned back in Studio One? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Respawn. Okay. <laughs> No, you see, it was Raging Bolt. She was so fast, she used Thunderclap. She had priority. So true. Thunderclap in the cheeks. I mean, what? Oh. I thought you... I thought... Never mind. <laughs> Hold on. Because... 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 This was... Between 2.15 and 4. Van... Maybe they check the van after? When was the body found? Uh, how could she have dealt with the body? I... It's either she couldn't deal with it, or I bet she could move it. Because if, if I say she couldn't deal with it, that would imply it happened after. But if I say I bet she could move it, that's implying she could have taken the van... No, but she wait, couldn't no. have taken the van because the monkey head was still blocking the way, right? Yeah, Yeah. so wait, I, I so think she, it's, couldn't she had it. never way because Sal... Because Sal probably... Mm -hmm. She probably had Sal move the body. Wait, no, like, either way, it wouldn't make sense because, like, Sal or not, the monkey head's still blocking the way. I think the answer is that she couldn't deal with it at the time, so it happened later. Mm -hmm. Fifteen minutes is kind of a short amount of time. You see, even I cannot do the impossible. Wait, like oh, wait, are you back, Black? Yeah, I'm back. Okay. S sorry, my alternate personality took over there for Mr. Wright. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> there for Mr. Wright. I didn't do it. Agreed? Uh, not agreed. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there's no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body! I interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright! Left. <laughs> Please show us how she carried the body! No prob, Bob. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the Studio Van to do it. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. Oh boy. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You oh, used a van to, to carry... Quick. Was it? Going to the bathroom. Okay. You used a van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Hold on, right. Left. Don't forget, it was Sal Manila. Uh, oh, I get it. <laughs> the Trump yeah. the did you just get it? I haven't seen the last name yet. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that the truth of thing. Yeah, I thought you were sorry. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella <coughs> was the conspirator? I... Uh, he uh, literally... I don't, I don't think he is. She put him in the trunk without him knowing, possibly. Uh, I, it'd mine. be hard to... I, I don't know how she would have moved the body out of the car and into position without help. I feel like he has to have. He's mm. wearing a very heavy suit, so she must have had some kind of help. Right. Of course Salmonella has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? Alright, I'm back. No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Left. Humph. I lose. You win. It was fun. Wait, really? I I I, I, I win. I, uh, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Um. So, what happens next? <laughs> mm. Don't mm, me. Don't you have anything to say? How do you know it was a question mark? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. W wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez, so it was you. You killed Jack Hammer. I, I, my client is uh, like Mr. Wright. <laughs> Who can say? Oh, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> huh? Are you sure I did? I... Mr. Wright? What? <laughs> we just engaged oh, in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. L l l right. right. <laughs> but that is only a possibility. I'm gonna kill you. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. You're really just gonna show it to her. What is it? Where the fuck is it? What, 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 what the fuck is it? <laughs> My god! What? Order! Threadwood, your thoughts? Uh, I, uh, I'm fucking tired, Judge. <laughs> of course, it's, it's as the witness says. Hmm. It certainly does seem very likely that she did it, but uh, there's no proof. It's not right. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Uh, what do I do now? <laughs> Just get her to testify again? I will. To testify. I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify? Again? Know when to give up, Mr. Wright. Left. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. Get the left out of here. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions, yet the same answers. A waste of time. Damn! To come so far only to fail! 
As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. I, I object. What? Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! Yes, Edgy? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. <laughs> I... Very well. Wait, no, I got one! <laughs> I request that the witness testify again. You are the a prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. Badger, 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 badger. I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth! I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly <laughs> do you want her to testify about? <laughs> well, yes, um... Uh... Hey, thanks for uh, trying, Edgeworth. Indeed. Verily, I say. Ergo. I love Lies of Pete. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness <clears throat> will testify to the court concerning this matter. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Nick. What's up? Why did Edgeworth... Oh, I sent him a dick pic. Huh? I mean, what? Uh, n n n who knows? He, he <laughs> probably realized she did it, too. But... But... No buts. Just dick pics. Wasn't that... Wasn't he the one who's that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all of that... Edgeworth... Buddy, you coming on to me? <laughs> After finding the body. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. God damn it. <clears throat> I see no issues raised by this testimony. Well, I'm pressing everything anyways. Mr. Left, your cross-examination. Right. Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. <clears throat> Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Left. Uh, right. Uh, right, then. After finding the body. The body. After finding the body. Hold it! What time was that? We were to meet at five o'clock for the rehearsal. That gives plenty of time. When exactly did you and Mr. Manila arrive at the studio? About ten minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. <laughs> I met the Freddy's? Hmm. <laughs> Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh. What did I just say? Did I not just say <laughs> I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. You should try to suck your fucking dick. <laughs> what? Boy. The witness will continue her testimony. Nah. Hold it! <clears throat> Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. 
Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you cl you expect me to be calm? You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. Uh... Wait a second, wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? Yeah, world revolving. You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. We often le left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. He's a star actor. Oh, Jesus. Oh, powers. Hmm, well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez. You may continue. Hold it! What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent. Completely silent. I have high doubts that Miss Old Bag ever shut up. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. That's bullshit. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Then, silence. Dead silence. Emphasis on dead. Did the dead silence come from the dead body? Silence. Hey, hey, Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. Yeah, do a trick, Maya. Okay. okay. Do a flip. <laughs> do a flip. <laughs> Old bag, the security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right, the Steel Samurai. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard <coughs> all this after the fact. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm, I don't think there's anything there I can use. Uh, left out of the seats. Hold it! You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. I am the police. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that, since we were in the meeting, there was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you? Or covered it up for you? There must have been a lot writing on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. Uh, hold it! The script in your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Oh, so you knew about the murder beforehand? Is that what Who you're could... telling me? Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. 
Very well, Miss Vasquez, please continue. No one's questioning this? <laughs> objection, Your Honor. I had an objection to the witness's last statement. Is Edgeworth the only one who caught that? <laughs> huh? Think. 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 Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring a script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Uh. Oh, Edgeworth caught that. <laughs> order! Bro. Order! Mr. Edgeworth! Bro, Nick and Miles are team double teaming this, <laughs> this girl. Holy shit. Yeah. What do you just said? is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make <laughs> such a move. I'm prosecuting my own witness. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? You're throwing miles. Yes, I'm, I'm moving in with Nick next year, so... Oh, Wait, Jesus. That? <laughs> oh, jeez. I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I'll stand by my statement. However, regardless of how the court sees my role here, now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. If I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna win losing. Hmm. <laughs> so the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? Angry court. No hmm. matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. The witness will completely change what she said to cover up what the fuck mistakes she made. The hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left him behind. Hold it! How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Sal. He told me. Sal, the director. Hmm. Didn't he drive her there? You have to find something to peg this on her here. To, to what? So true, bestie pegs you. Huh? <laughs> oh. oh. Or everything we've done till now will have been wasted. Listen, Peggy will come later, Nick. What? <laughs> Jesus. Well, I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. Okay. <laughs> I can't hear what that girl in defense is saying, but I quite find it disgusting. Who's <laughs> injured? Oh, Of the driver there. I mean, she could have left him. Oh, the hammer left behind him. Uh, no, um, he left him behind because he was sleeping. He wasn't injured. Maybe the sleeping pills? What? She said the hammer was injured, but he was sleeping, though. Was he, was he injured? I don't remember the rest of the case. Was he injured? Was, no, it was it was uh, the victim that was injured, I think, right? No, 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 no. So no, no. It was because Hammer was, was like limping, I think. Hammer was limping, so Hammer knew about the injury, which meant Will was injured before this. Mm -hmm. I'm mixing Will and Hammer a lot. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Oh no, I got it! I got it! How'd you get it? She she said she knew that Hammer was injured. But mm -hmm. Will Powers was the one who broke the spear and supposedly was limping. Yeah. yeah so... That, that, mm, no, there, there, there was no picture for that. Maybe just the broken spear? No, I think it's this. Because... Okay. Objection! You knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? What? You're right. Explain Left. yourself. 
Yes, Mr. Ha yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I don't have my glasses. I already said it was Sal who told me. That's right. You must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez! Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Spartan! Wasn't, mis wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah, oh, it makes sense now. <laughs> and when was he doing this? Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. <clears throat> Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order! Order! I will have order! Witness! Oh, sorry. That's, 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 fuck. Fuck. I'm sorry. This is fine. It's fine. Can you refute this claim? Mm. Mm. Yeah, let's see. Sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Motherfucker. That's not how this works. <laughs> oh, boy. That's not how the force works. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Yes, you would need a motive. Okay, what the fuck is Hatton Powers' motive then, motherfucker? Why would she have killed the victim? Why would reason does Powers have to kill him? He's the star. Like, well, why would he This judge. If there's a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? I... Um, uh, 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 this... I don't know, maybe she was... I well, maybe she knew the guy. Wait, did, did, go back to the to the picture of him overlooking the dead dude. Why does he look like an off-brand Ryu? <laughs> Is this what's important right now, like? <laughs> I think... It's me, Ryu. I think she had a connection to the old actor. I'm assuming. Yeah. But can I prove it is the question. Look at your evidence again. Uh... Autopsy... Bathroom. Part of me wants to say you use the scrapbook, but... <laughs> Guess this? 
My guess is that, because maybe she knew the old actor. I'm guessing long shot, she was blackmailed too. Like maybe the blackmailing was from the victim and not her. Okay, I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present, I present to the court as to Miss Vesquez's motive in this murder. Take that! This is my proof. This is the photo from before. <coughs> this photo reveals the motive in this murder. <laughs> I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Or am I left? <laughs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial, it began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. <laughs> Bringing us to the present day, Mr. Hammer's last role was as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, bleh. undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame from the, for the X-Star. Moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... Uh, as if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright. Lift. Please, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for the murder. I'm pretty sure I know why. And I don't know if there's evidence for it, though. Yeah, I don't think there's actually evidence. Well. Or, no, no, yeah. She had no motive. <clears throat> she had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self defense. Is that <laughs> do, you so? do, you, do you see what I did there? Self defense. <laughs> he kill you. he, he died on the fence. <laughs> We're going to have our own trial light, and you're going to be the victim. Yes. It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? Why is this music playing? What? <clears throat> Your Honor! <clears throat> Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. He's gonna snap it. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. So, you did do it, didn't you? Mm. Yes, hang on a second. The pivotal moment. Mm. Did I take over? Or... I mean, look, this is the big moment. I, th I think we should probably wait from him. He did say just a moment. Yeah, yeah. I, I literally have to get cold to do something. Oh, uh, damn. Uh, I am guilty. 
It was me. Someone called an ambulance. There's blood everywhere. We're too late. Ah, uh, Miss Vasquez. What? What happened here? Oh, Midwell fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel, Manuel. Or was that? Oh, oh that was my. I think it was. It's a little hard to tell. Yeah. Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No, no. How could this? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and. No, Manuel. Manuel. D don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No. Please don't die. Please. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. Buffed? I lose. Again. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? The waiting lobby, Your Honor. Has come and collected his owner. He's running. <laughs> I see. Mr. Wright. Left? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> it appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I, uh, uh, thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Oh, what? Will Powers was innocent. That should he be found so is only natural. Not a miracle. Hmm. Yes, yes, you're right. Or is he left? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, Mr. Wright. Very well. Left. The court. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not, not guilty. guilty. <laughs> well, there he is. That is all. Court is adjourned. Yippee! October 20th, 1, 12 p.m. District Court, Defended Lobby Number 3. Ah, uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just I'm... glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder... ...makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Look. Huh? Uh... Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Uh... <laughs> well, this is, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... I think the script, okay. Because Hammer was the villain, right? Take that! Yeah. It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once. But he was reduced to acting in a kid's show. And as a villain, to boot. Dude, the kids loved the Steel <laughs> Samurai. And so he hated you. I... I think I understand. Could have just told me. I would have changed places with him many times. I think you're missing the point. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to dull my Steel Samurai outfit once more. Oh, about that. Uh, Global Studios is closed. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shutting down. Can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Uh, sweaty costume has been incinerated. I uh, sorry to tell you. Oh, no. Hmm? Um... Is... 
Is something wrong? No! Uh, uh, of course not. Ah. Nick! Edgeworth! Oh, oh. Hello there. I am front facing now. <clears throat> Hello there. I'll be back facing. <laughs> oh. No, I want your lips. Okay, but then after. <laughs> Say something right. Oh, I, uh, we, we, have we been having this conversation mentally? <laughs> <laughs> Me talking to you in my mind. I'm not good at small talk. Oh. Huh? What? It's because I have a small penis. I'm very, I'm very, I'm very fragile about it. Huh? I, th I, th I think it's the perfect size, honey. I mean, what? <laughs> um, th th that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I, 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 I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. <laughs> uh, 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 Edgeworth. I'm, I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Huh? Liar. Right. I must say, I expected to meet you again after all these years. Me? Uh, again? Wait, who was the... Um, the prosecutor in the red white case. The red white case? It was him. Oh, that's right. Uh, okay. However, in retrospect, that would have been better had we not met. Next to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. I'm gay. Uh -huh. Right. They were oh, yeah. exes. Oh, yeah, they were you... roommates. Oh, yeah. You, 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 you want to tell me about those feelings tonight? <laughs> Wait, wait, hang on. Wait, wait. Okay, give me like one second. I need to get a really funny image. Oh, God. Don't put a great meme for this. Hang on. <laughs> um, like I, would love to watch, I would love to watch the end of this, but unfortunately, I gotta go. I gotta make dinner, so I'll see you guys later. Okay. Right, see ya. <clears throat> just imagine like unnecessary feelings. And, and, and Nick just hits him with. <laughs> <laughs> God, I. I... I fucking know exactly what that's from. I just found that recently. <laughs> God, oh, that I, comic. I love those. I love those images. Not gay, Greg. I'm not gay. Greg. Necessary feelings. Ugh. For me. Yes. Unease. Uncertainty. Oh, those aren't the feelings. I was. Uh, n never mind. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only start to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Left. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. Is it because I said left? I can't stand having public boners. That's what I came here to tell oh. you. Oh. Oh, <laughs> my. Um. We Mr. Rat. We could keep him private if you... Uh, what, yeah? What's up, Will? Should I be having this conversation? <laughs> Should I be here for this? I, I, don't worry about it. Also, I, I love that we just, like, he just s slightly confirmed that he's a fanboy of Steel Samurai. Yeah. <laughs> Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if! Yeah, they're boyfriends. They're, they're gay lovers! Lovers! Right, Nick? You know it. For now we are, I guess. Sorry, I meant to say rivals. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? I, I don't know how you. I don't know how you're missing the constant sexual tension between us in court, Maya. <laughs> I, I don't. It, it's pretty clear. He always said I was really thick-headed. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Tell me, what's the deal with you and Edgeworth? Speaking of thick. Oh. Mia. And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was a talk of the town. <clears throat> Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. We went back to making kid shows again. <laughs> oh. You suck. Nick! This is it! 
The, the new show starts today. You're gonna watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? But pardon? Trans his gender? I'm so proud of her. Do they just have a wolf in post production and just dub over him? <laughs> I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I think that's even less likely. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real miss. that uh, real willpowers. I like to imagine when Nick and uh, Miles were just like very close to each other, just at the at the oh, waiting room. I just baby. imagine Will was just standing awkwardly, like I'm a, I'm a... <laughs> wait, I see a parrot. I think Here we all know what comes. this means. I think we Here all know what this it means. comes. I who won? Who's gonna do? Who's gonna? <laughs> I who's think gonna I. Do... I think I want to be the old man. Mm -hmm. What the 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 parrot guy or the other old man? The guy with the parrot. Okay. I I'm I honestly I kind of want to do the other old man, but that's up to you guys. That's a pretty big guy. I know, yeah. I know. I just feel like I I can do deep voices, and it feels kind of deep. It feels so deep. Huh? I'm thirteen, and this is deep. <laughs> Oh, I'm Edgeworth, so... feels, Edgeworth <laughs> feels deep, if you know what I'm saying. I don't, I feel like I shouldn't be listening in on this conversation. Oh, don't worry <laughs> about it. I know. Why are you here, right, Powers? Get out of here. I, we're stopping I, here, we're going right into the next one. Uh, well, I, we've usually been doing just uh, investigation and then trial day, so okay. I think we'll cut it here, and then next time we'll start on... Okay. I believe the last trial of the game. Game. There, I think there is a there is like a well, the technical epilogue. last trial, like because I know there's the extra case. But yeah. All right. All right. We're, We're ending around. here. Okay. Enjoy Say your food. goodbye. Oh wait, the uni uni figma is up for pre order tomorrow. Oh fuck. Wow. Alright, oh, we'll see you later. Never mind. All right, Damn, alright. Say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, YouTube. See you, you see you, you, YouTube from the voice actor of Will Powers and D. Vasquez. So true. <laughs> <laughs>